Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangout. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, I love you guys so, so much. You know that. What is today? Today is Mask Monday. What do I have to show you? I'm doing a DIY mask. So, okay, so, um, if you're in a Mask Monday, hang out. You know, it's free. So if you don't know what Mask Monday is, Mask Monday is this huge open collab and you can put in your uh, description box if you do a video hashtag mask Monday ladies you'll be put into this huge playlist uh, this is done by Lori Latimer and if you you can also add in hashtag mask Monday friends I mean this is really like taking YouTube by storm <laughs> if you want to say that um, there are lots and lots and lots of us that do it and today, uh, I know that if some of you have gotten a package from me, I tend to throw these in here and they are compressed facial masks. So they're DIY masks. You can put whatever you want on them. You know, you guys always see me putting my serum in here, my extra serum for my masks. So that's what I do. And then I pop one of these in here. They look like this. They're not candy. So if you ever get a package from me and it has these in there, they're not candy. They're DIY face masks. And they're really nice. And you can get them for a couple bucks on Timu, Shen, um, Amazon sells them pretty much anywhere. You just put in compressed facial masks and, and they'll pop up. Um, but I have been soaking this one for a while. So I'm going to kind of squish it out because other i mean it's like running out so i don't want it to to run all over me but it is sufficiently saturated <coughs> um sorry for not having many uploads last week guys I, it's been a time um it's been a time i'm just gonna say that so but we are back so, yay. Get this on my face. Oh gosh. And I figured we could do a little bit of a project pan update. I haven't weighed stuff yet. I really need to, to find my scale. I can't find it. <laughs> I'm almost wondering if my mom has it. She might. So... I'll look again, and if I can't find it, then I'll call my mom. Um, but I'm gonna. These are about the only masks that I actually snip to fit my nose. Otherwise, but I love how soft they are. I have bamboo ones, and then I have um, silk ones. And I, well, maybe these are cotton. I can't remember. I got like three packages down there of them. I love them. They are wonderful. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. So this is the leftover essence off of all of those masks. And I just mix it together. And I also do that with my bead mask. Because it's wonderful as well. So let me get my project pan stuff. And then we'll get started. Okay, so... Here is my project pan stuff. Maybe I'll do this as the thumbnail. Okay, so if you guys remember, we swapped out some things like mid-month last month. Because of the... Um, I, I used stuff up. So yay for that, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mark this again. I've been using this as a room spray and 
I haven't really paid that much attention. Oh my gosh, this one's really going down. Wow, we used a lot over the month with that one. This is, okay, <laughs> I'll show you guys here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the Pink Chiffon Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I love the smell of this, but I have so many perfumes, I'll never use it up on me. So I've been using it as room spray, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I love it as room spray. It smells so good. It's kind of sweet, but not like super candy sweet. It's got a light florally back. It's just really good and clean. But as you can see, this was last month's mark for July, and this is August's mark. So yay, we're making progress on that. This is the one that, oh my gosh, we have like seriously made some great progress on. So that's what it looks like today. That's what I was just marking. So this is August. This is July. We've used a lot there. I love a good facial mist. Like I said, this is almost gone. I wish there was like a little thing. I really, like I said, I really need to get my weight thing out so I can show you guys. And I've used the heck out of this. You can see it's finally showing some sign of usage, which is good. Yeah. See, there you go. I'm going to put a mark on that because since this was brand new last month, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it on up so we can compare for next month. So there we go. And then this one, I can't even tell where it is, but it, it definitely feels lighter. Um, again, I really need to get a weight, but this is my summer foundation. And then I have this one in here in case I use this one up because this is a summer foundation as well, but I'm not going to open it. Um, but yeah, I've been using the heck out of it. I love this stuff, especially in summertime because it is sweat proof for me. I, I don't know how other people sweat, so I can't, I can't say to anybody else. Okay. So this is, and this is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and it's in 445 which i think is vanilla yeah it's vanilla and then if i didn't tell you this is the touch and soul um no pore blim primer and it's really nice this is the milani um there's quite a dip in there it's starting to really dry out but um this is a milani brow gel Stay Put Brow Color, and it is in 02 Natural Taupe. I love this stuff. It's really good. You can go in just really light-handed, and it's wonderful. Um, we added this eyeliner just like a week or so ago. Um, and you guys will have just seen that addition in on my Morte Palette video. Um, this is the KVD Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. So it's like pretty much brand new. Um, but I love the color of it. It's really good. This is the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I think it's in 129A. I think that's the color. I don't know. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> That'll get used up the next time I go to use it because that's all that's left so that's kind of cool so we can bring in a new one of that soon then this is the Jeffree Star concealer in C8 so it's a little light on me so I haven't been using it as much as I normally do um, but I do like it anyway this is the Laura Mercier sample that I got. This was full two, two months ago, I want to say. No, we put it in at the beginning of July. So it's about half full now. You can see where it is. It's a nice powder. I'm not disappointed. I also added this ColourPop um, Super, Cheek, Super Shock Cheek 
highlighter in Spellbound. And as you can see, that pan is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. Okay, so the Milani Anti-Gravity Mascara, I, it still has some left in here. But she getting that waxy smell, so I'm going to clean the wand off and put it into, I think, my it, my it Blowout. And we'll bring that in. Um, because I, li I love the wand on here. And, I mean, the formula is good, too. Don't get me wrong. But I don't like the wand on this one. So I'm going to continue to use this one. Just clean it up. If that makes sense. I haven't touched the black eyeliner in several weeks. So she's still good. As you can see, the Milani lip liner in 03 nude is like almost gone. We're getting there. Now, um, as far as this powder, I've been using the Lori, Laura Mercier powder kind of a little bit more than I have been this powder, but this powder, the pan is definitely, we're almost there. Um, this is finally starting to get a dip in it. This is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. And um, this color, which is the Glow Extreme, these, this is the powder. It's got a little bit of a dip in it. I've been trying to use this one as a highlighter or brow bone highlight just for my daily stuff. And as you can see, the blush is getting quite a dip in it so we might be hitting pan on that soon um okay so my bronzer which is the alomar Comple hydrating complexion trio and this is in i want to say it's in light i know it says here somewhere fair to light um <laughs> i use this on my under eyes every time i put makeup on so that one's going but these ones the the logo is starting to wear off. So that's good. And then this is the Alomar um, Blush Trio. And it is in medium tan. I love these colors. And it doesn't look like I've made a dent in them. But I really have. So that's those. Now for the eyeshadow palette. This is the Alter Ego Artemis palette which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. And I, this is like one of my favorite all time palettes, but as you can see, there's several that have dips in them. Pretty good dips like, um, quiver. We might hit pan on that one soon. So loving that lures got quite, which is this dark Brown down here. It has quite a dip in it. So, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. I have one, one, I only have one color left that I have not used. Well, nope. One color left that I haven't used. No, two. And camouflage. I haven't used camouflage either. So I haven't used victory and cam or camouflage. Oh, and, well, no, I have used Chase. So, I love this palette. It's a go-to palette. Well, I'll, I love it. I, I will probably, once that one has, you know, gone the way of the Dodo, I, I might purchase a back backup one before that because I love the color story so much. It's so versatile. But that is it for the Project Pan. So, like I said, I have... These two, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. So I'm going to toss this in here. And then I have the It Blow Lash Blowout. And this is the one I'm going to change the um, wand on. Because, I mean, this isn't a horrible wand, but it is not my favorite. And this is a bit of a drier formula. So... But I, I like this wand better, so I'm going to put it in there. Anyway, so that's it for, 
for my project pan stuff um we are getting there we are working on it so if you are doing a project pan let me know how you're doing i am tempted to put a lippy in but i'm also tempted not to because i have a ton of lippies i really really do and i need to like do something to um oh i think i'm gonna put this one in there too this is the blink um ultra volume tubing mascara and it's in black and so i think i'm gonna add that to my project pan as well uh so you burn through mascaras um but uh I have some stuff on the way so that'll be good um so keep your eyes open for that and um, what else is new nothing much else is new uh yeah i don't think there's much else new so it's cooling off at least for the weekend this weekend is cooling off um, cause I'm filming this on Friday and it'll go up on Monday and, um, I have, I have several things coming. I have a giveaway that will be coming up probably this week. I want to say if not this week, it will be next week. Um, so Keep your eyes open for that. It's a little different one. It is not makeup related. So there's a hint. Um, but it's it's really good stuff. I'm excited about it. Um, what else? What else is going on? I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this mask off and deal with my hair. Because as you guys know, I usually do my mask Monday on hair washing day. And I did my hair two days early because... Whew, it was bad so anyway blessings to you all i love you guys so so much and i hope you have a fantastic wonderful and safe week oh excuse me Ugh. see you guys later bye